Hey guys, it is Scott Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. Hey man, Saturday. How about a little NFL football for you? How about a little NFL playoff football? It is what is it? It's super wild card weekend. That's right. Not just not just regular wild card week. Super, super wild card weekend. So strap in and uh well, let's uh, let's go for a ride and break down one of these games, shall we? But before we do, you know the drill. Take a minute, take a second. Hit that thumbs up, smash that like button. There you go. It's all I ask. It's all I ever ask. And uh, yeah, do that. Take care of it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Check out all of our social media stuff. We got had a kid, Ed Mason. He's uh, he's doing our social media stuff. He's doing a hell of a job. So uh, unless you're a hundred like me, and you're still on social media, get over there and check it out. And if you are a hundred like me, uh, check out Facebook because apparently we fired that back up again. So who knew? He's doing reels and uh other square dance moves I, I don't know i don't even know what it's about but yeah check it out uh check out the premium side over there winnersandwires.com click on experts tab find out who's hot here's a spoiler alert you know who's hot i am yeah you'd never know it from watching my videos i'm actually on all three leaderboards right now <laughs> it's unbelievable seven and two my last nine college basketball uh i'm on a nine and two uh nba uh, excuse me uh, nfl total run and a uh, seven and three nba run so yeah there you have it uh, apparently i reserve one bad pick a day and it's the one i put in the video so you're welcome <laughs> oh my goodness all right so what do we got we got a couple games going on we got cleveland houston early but you know i'm that's not the one i care about uh, actually, I actually do have a premium play on it, but the one that I, the one that I'm really going to be watching with a lot of interest, it's the Kansas City Chiefs and the uh, what you call it, Miami Dolphins. That's right, they're coming to Arrowhead, baby. And I don't know if you heard this or not. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you've heard somebody mention it in the course of uh, this week. Uh, it's going to be a little cold at Arrowhead uh, tonight. Uh, it's <laughs> it's it's brutal. It's going to be absolutely brutal. I think it's going to be, I saw I saw the latest newscast I saw. Oh, by the way, we didn't talk about the result yesterday. I'm making this before that game is tipped off. So I don't know if I under cash or not. We'll keep an eye on that. Anyway, watch the newscast tonight at 6 o'clock. Uh, at kickoff, it will be zero, zero degrees. It will have no degrees. And by the time the game is over, it will be uh, minus four, minus two at halftime, minus four at the end of the fourth quarter. Jesus Christ. Uh, wind chills, minus 30, all that stuff. So, okay, so here's the deal with the cold. Uh, number one, I'm not going, in case you were wondering. Uh, no, 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 and no. Now, I used to have all the cold weather gear. Hell, when I lived in Minnesota, we did snowmobiling and ice fishing out of the lake and all that shit. And I've been to these games. Well, maybe not one like this, but, you know, close to it. Uh, I don't have the gear anymore, and I don't have the desire. You know why? Because my house, I got a 55-inch TV, and it's really warm. It's really, really warm. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, I will not be there. A lot of people will. Tickets are cheap. Hey, if you're in the Kansas City area, hey, Butcher, looking at you, buddy. Uh, if you don't have tickets, good time, 40 bucks. <laughs> you could do it. And I guarantee you, I'm, I'm shooting this video at about 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, excuse me, 7 p.m. Central Time. There are probably people lined up to get into the stadium right now. They line up the night before to get a good spot for tailgating uh crazy people is what we call them so here's the deal i know we've talked a lot you've heard a lot about this week about all the miami stats and it's 40 degrees and the dolphins don't win Tua doesn't win and to a certain extent i understand the historical value of that but here's my point no team has an advantage out there today when you walk outside and it's zero degrees and the wind's blowing 20 miles an hour Nobody wants to be there. Nobody's got an advantage. I don't give a shit. You know, unless you grew up in Alaska or Antarctica where you're used to that stuff, um, you go out in it all the time. No, absolutely not. So I kind of tend to downplay that a little bit. And I'll give you, and I don't actually, I don't have a play on this uh, on the premium side either, but I'll give you something that I actually learned uh, doing research for the NFL show this week. They score more points below 10 degrees than they score when the temperature is between 32 and 80. And if it's over 80, they score even less. If it's over 85, they score even less. It is exactly the opposite 
of what you think would be true. Um, I, I don't know why that is, but there's about a two and a half point difference from minus from below 10 to over 85. And from 32 to 80, there's about a, a degree and a half difference. So just a little something. If you're looking at the total and you're thinking to yourself, uh, no way it's so cold is the over the under is a dead solid lock. Be careful. That's all I'm saying to you. Um, for me, this game isn't about cold. It's not about the temperature. It's about availability. It's about who is ready to go for the Dolphins. And you know what? A lot of guys aren't. Uh, the Dolphins are hurting. KC, probably uh, the healthiest they've been all season. We're going to get uh, tr- uh, we're going to get uh, Trey Smith back on on our left tackle, and uh, we've only got eight healthy linemen right now. So if there is any kind of a, a problem on the offensive line with an injury, that could jump up and bite the Chiefs. But as of right now, they're extremely healthy. Miami is not. They are missing a shit ton of uh, linebackers and most specifically edge rushers. They're missing 50% of their sack production for the season will not be available for this game. Uh, they brought in, uh, here's a trio. Here's a blast from the past. How about Justin Houston, Bruce, Bruce Irvin, and Malik Reed? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's going to be all great players in their own right. Certainly as a Chiefs fan, I got no hate for Justin Houston. But, you know, seriously, dude, it's uh, Justin Houston hasn't been the same Justin Houston in about six seasons. So, frankly, I was stunned he was still in the league. He was playing apparently playing for Carolina this season. He's had one one tackle, one sack. So uh, not getting a lot of reps, even for the Panthers. Um, Now, on the offensive side, they've also got some problems. You've got you've got Mostert and you've got Waddle are questionable. Um, So we'll see how that goes. They're both they've got knee and ankle stuff. Uh, watch for people that have ham, hammy, hammy problems. Uh, Tyreek has a hammy that he's been nursing for a couple of games. Watch those hamstrings in the cold, man. You guys, if you've ever done any kind of outdoor activity, if you've ever pulled a hammy, you know how much harder it is to get it to loosen back up when it's cold. So keep an eye on anybody grabbing that upper thigh area there on the back of their leg. Um, as far as the uh, defense goes, I had two more that I forgot or three more that I forgot to mention. Uh, they've got problems in the defensive backfield. Xavier Howard's out. Uh, Eli Apple is in. And that's uh, that's a terrible, terrible trade right there. Uh, that's like comparing apples and competent quarterbacks. So, yeah, no comparison. Um, and you've also got both safeties who have been limited in practice all week. So I, I feel bad for the Dolphins. They had, they had a home game in sunny Miami in their grasp. Uh, they let the Bills come in, and they ran out of the – basically, they, they let the deal, Bills run over them because they ran out of guys to stop them. I think they're going to have the same problem in Kansas City. Is the Kansas City offense as powerful as it has been in years past? No, it is not. Are they good enough to put up 28 points on the Dolphins with playoff Patrick Mahomes and a healthy offense? Yes, they are. I think the Chiefs take care of business here today. It's not a homer pick. You guys know, you guys know me better than that. I ain't afraid to pick against the home team, but I don't think it happens here. I like the Kansas City Chiefs minus the four and a half. But at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we take off our gloves, pick up our winning tickets, and run back to the warmth of the window. All right. Hey, you guys have a great weekend. Congratulations on making it to Saturday. Uh, Good luck on all of your plays today. And uh, one more plug. If you're looking for some killer college basketball plays, I got a three-pack over there at the expert site. Check that out as well. All right. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow.